Now let's look at project fields and screens. We'll navigate back to the project settings and view the fields page. Field configurations define how fields behave, for example, whether they're required or optional, hidden or visible, and so on. This field configuration is the system default field configuration, so it applies to all the classic projects in JIRA by default. It shows all the fields configured, their properties, and where they're used. For example, the assignee field is used on five screens, and if we click this link, we can see which screens it's used on. Let's scroll down and view the summary field. The field has a yes in the required column, so it's a required field. We're going to edit the create issue screen for bugs, but before we do so, let's look at what the default create issue screen looks like. Let's create a new issue. We'll select the bug issue type and we can see all the fields that make up this screen. Let's click Create before we do anything. Note the message that you must specify a summary of the issue, because this is a required field. The asterisk next to the name means it's required. Let's enter a summary. If we scroll down, we can see the Labels field. We're going to remove this field. It's a good idea to remove unused fields to help simplify the screens for users and make them easier to use. Labels is a useful field, but we'll remove it here as an example. Also note the location of the priority field. We'll move this to a different location on the screen. Now let's create this issue. Now we'll navigate to the Screens Project Settings page. The Screens page shows you the Issue Type Screen Scheme for this project. It lists the two schemes used for issue types in this project. Note that the Bug Issue Type uses a different scheme than the other issue types. Let's click the Bug Screen Scheme to expand it, and then we'll click the Bug Screen. Note, you can click any of these screens, as all operations use the same screen. Here you see the fields and the way they're organized on the Create Issue screen for the Planet Apps project. We'll remove this Labels field by clicking this Remove, and then we'll drag the Priority field up above Description. Now let's test our new screen changes by creating a new issue. The issue type is Bug. We can confirm the Priority field is now above Description, and there's no Labels field. Now let's change the issue type to Story. And now we see the Labels field, and the Priority field is just above it. So this confirms the change just applies to the Bug Create Issue screen. Let's finish creating this issue.